so amazing as you can see now ghana flag is flying around the world not just only in africa again ghana flag is almost flying everywhere now this is another destination this one is amazing train hmm. Hmm. this train is almost in almost all europa country this plane, this uh, train is almost there. If you go to Germany, US, uh, Canada, everywhere, this train day. But having only place we can have this train, I think it's uh, South Africa. And uh, I, I I think it was South Africa. But now we are about to have we're about to have it in West Africa, Ghana. As you can see the flag already. Hey, Ghana. No, 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 no. These people there, what you people are planning, be like, I don't really know. You people have secrets that we Africa don't really know. Ghana has hiding so many secrets to Africa, don't know about it. Mm. And again, Ghana is about to leave other African countries behind. That is what I'm seeing. Mm, that is another secret that I'm passing through. They are hiding a secret to we all African. We don't really know about it. How can you go and buy uh, the best plane? You know, almost all uh, around the world. Say you are hiding it from us. Kana, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Uh, show us the way now. We too show us the way. We want to know. Ah. This one there, this plane, we will not go agree for Ghana this time around. Ghana needs to show us the way. You must show us the way. Ah, anything you are using, we too need to use them. Mm, Ghana must show us the way. If you don't show us the way, we will not go leave you people right. Because this one there does scatter Africa. Eh? This one says they even fly more than aeroplane. This, this, this train you are seeing, so it can fly more than aeroplane. Let me tell you. Nine Ghana go have now, and they don't want to tell us the secret. They just go take this thing for themselves, and they don't want to tell us the secret of this. Is that good? Why are people doing this? You should show us the secret now. We, we, it, it's not like we don't have this kind of train. We have train in Nigeria, but we don't have this type, this particular type. They don't have it in Nigeria. Honest fact. This particular one I'm seeing, so you know the Nigeria. Ghana, please show Nigeria the way, okay? Nigeria and your junior brother, all right? Show them the way so that we too can have this kind of train in Nigeria, okay? Uh, all right. It's, Look at um, with great expectations for the Ghana railway system. As I mentioned in my speech before, there's no country that has developed or industrialized without a vibrant, efficient railway system. So Ghana, on our long journey, basically to ensure that we can accomplish our goal to build a network of 4,000 kilometers of railway network across the country to assist us with the industrialization theme or the agenda, especially for the current president, His Excellency Nanadu Adankwakufuado to revamp the railway system. This is such a wonderful day. It's a great milestone of achievement for the sector and also for the country. This will be the first time that we are bringing a standard gauge railway system to Ghana. Because the past, the original trains that we have were all narrow gauge. So this will be the first standard gauge rolling stock in Ghana. So the expectation is that the trains will leave there sometime in the middle of February. And with transportation period of about four weeks, it will get there sometime at the end of March. <laughs> the trains will go through uh, system testing, close all the gaps, do some trial runs, and then we'll be ready for commissioning by the president sometime in June of 2024. In fact, I took an I took, um, opportunity to actually drive the train myself. It was just a wonderful experience. So the most importantly, as we mentioned before, the key is to ensure consistent and persistent maintenance so that the train can last longer. These trains are built for 30 years and beyond. So our expectation is that we will be able to maintain the line. We've signed an agreement, maintenance agreement with PESA for five years. And we are hoping to extend the maintenance period for about 10 years to ensure the train will last longer for the people of Ghana. We are encouraged the Ghanaian public to patronize the use of trains. What this train does for us is to transport passengers from 
Mpakadan, through Pong, um, Japon, uh, Doyumo, all the way to Temaport. And then they can switch from this standard gauge line to the narrow gauge line to take them all the way to the heart of Accra. Trainer as soon as you see a canoe of Poland, hey, if you see that Ghana, this is the first time I have a standard gauge railway train I ever Ghana. Titwano, your license in your narrow gauge, a moon check, I see. We need a dear move by Cassia. Same by I beat my friend Padu draw, I finish with my panama, no my muy draw, the other come yam ya. We are the Cassia, His Excellency Nanado Danko Akofado, and this one, dear Cassia, and say. Of a sort of by real wage, my dear, because it could be any one more because of without a very efficient and vibrant railway system. So, this is the beginning of a long journey to ensure that you better develop your railway line. I'm a train snack on Yam Yenina, Sabia and Nipabina, a fatrino, I in your market, I in your man, you pass me to my two coin. I said, You won't show nothing to two coin, say, Accident, I see your concert with them, say, train no bar, a babboa, a man, no brassy. And today, the case here with Poland has this image in America. I have a new train. I the call Ghana. I see the Ghana for the very to my paper. A factory train transportation. Chairman of the ceremony and chairman of PESA, the honorable ministers of transport of Poland, other officials and representatives of the Polish government present here. The management and staff of PESA invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to extend greetings from the President of Ghana, of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adudanko Akufuado, and the, and the people of Ghana. It's indeed a great pleasure for us to participate in this handing over ceremony for the first ever standard gauge rolling stock being procured by the government of Ghana for operations in Ghana. The Ministry of Railway Development in collaboration with the Ghana Railway Development Authority is undertaking construction of a number of standard new gauge of new standard railway gauge lines as part of the effort to revamp the alien railway system in Ghana. Among them are the ongoing construction of the Tamampakadan line, which the new trains that you are purchasing here will be tested and commissioned on. Ladies and gentlemen, the development of the 97 kilometer Temato Pakadan line complements and forms part of the multimodal transport system from the Tama port to the southern part of Ghana to the inland port in the northern part. The development of this railway line is about 98% complete and to be completed in 2024. We in Ghana, we are looking for a long term relationship with PESA for future businesses because we believe that PESA has what it takes to be able to continue to support Ghana Railway Network. I also like to acknowledge and congratulate VAOB of Ghana for their perseverance, resilience, and tenacity to pull this transaction through. VAOB has been very instrumental to get us here today. That's why the challenges and the ups and downs they had to endure. This event is a spark or something bigger to come towards the establishment of a long-term collaborative business partnership between PESA and Ghana. This collaborative partnership is to include the establishment, hopefully, of a Polish embassy in Ghana, as well as the establishment of a train manufacturing assembly plant in Ghana in the foreseeable future to feed the growing market for rolling stock in the sub saharan Africa. It has been proven over the years that a vibrant and efficient railway system is the cornerstone for industrialization, and Ghana does not want to be left out. The opportunities are tremendous, and we are counting on persons on wavering commitment and cooperation when we call on you for technical and top-notch after-sales services. We also count on you for favorable financial terms for future procurement, as well as um, as we embarked on our long journey to construct almost 4,000 kilometers of railway network across Ghana.
thing that I've seen this year, the, the thing that makes me happy for Ghana this year, this one, this one is another thing, although they have been doing it for a very long time, but this year they lodge it. But I don't know if the politician have mission. Sometimes politicians, they have their own mission. But this, thing, this is another good thing that they bring into the country that also make me happy. Where, where? When I see this train, the people are promoting it. It makes me happy. I'm seeing Ghana somewhere. Now, when people are visiting Africa, especially visiting Ghana, you will be happy. We need to see West Africa like European country. Now, whatever they are using in European countries to make a black Africa like European country, we should also do that the same thing in Africa, especially in this West Africa, because West Africa now is not moving like foreign country. But we will need to also turn uh, Africa, uh, West Africa like Europe, like the way Ghana are doing it. Because me and Ghana are the sea, the most peaceful country in Ghana. The country people are visiting most is still Ghana because a lot of people are visiting Ghana, a lot of black America and other people Ghana 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 but I pray one day people will also thinking about visit a lot of uh, visit Nigerians because I see a majority of people are scared for visiting Nigerians when you reach Nigeria you'll be scared uh -huh. but I pray one day our Nigerian government can be able to do something better like the we Ghana government uh, they are trying to fist in or do they go steal money we know but where they are stealing and they are doing things hey that is another thing and uh, let's give tango let's give uh let's give thanks off to ghana government for this one they do this one they are bringing it i'm very happy for this one especially this particular train if it's free they are going to bring it to but for me i'm really i'm very very happy for this one yes africa is moving forward because when i come up for nigeria now i'm going to ghana is my europe yes ghana is my america canada and anything now ghana be my own america when i enter ghana it's like i did europe that is how i feel like cool but i don't know other people but me when i enter ghana it's like i did europe i did us i did canada that is how me i see ghana anytime i go there because everything that they are doing in europe like when you talk about peace in europe the same thing we have it in ghana so that's why when i enter ghana i'm okay and i'm happy i just want to thank everybody my name is master manager and Janice, and thank people who sponsor for for this training brought in into they are brought in into ghana or trying to develop it, things like this let's give time to them and give thanks to ghana god bless all of you bye bye for now